Good everybody, it's Michael Everest from Juriscue.com with our repeat guest, attorney that does divorces, family law, Marina Shapetsky. Thank you, welcome back. Thank you, welcome, welcome, glad to be back. Thank you. Uh, Marina, there's a, a big uh, uh, myth out there. If you catch your spouse cheating, you can do much better in a divorce. You get more alimony, child support, and so on. Tell us, is it true? Should you uh, try to find out if your spouse is cheating and get proof? And can you make more money in uh, financial support down the road because of it? Uh, well, I, I understand where this comes from because New York is one of the last states to sign on to this no-fault divorce system, right? No-fault means people are getting divorced because they just can't work things out. They don't get along. No, no fault of a other party. They just want to get Right, the money. right. So, so before this, I would say, um, I don't remember, I think it was like four or five years ago that New York took on this no-fault uh, okay. grounds, right? Before this, you had to pick a ground, like a real reason for a divorce. And some people used to make up reasons but definitely cheating, which doesn't have to be made up, you know, uh, was one of them. So it's, it's still awesome. kind awesome. of like that idea mm -hmm. that if you're cheating, then it's somebody's fault, right? So what does it mean if it's somebody's fault? If it's somebody's, you know, re the reason for divorce is someone did something bad. In reality, cheating doesn't affect at all the yeah. property division or mm -hmm. alimony or child support. Now, there are some very extreme examples. For example, if during the cheating, the spouse spent like a lot of the family money, that's okay. called dissipating family okay. income. Okay. You know, like they wasted family that's money. Against you? They might be like, they might infer that money uh, back to the spouse that's mm -hmm. losing out. You know, like in other words, if you didn't waste all this money, on, I don't know, like giving his mistress 10,000 a month when the wife was only getting like 2,000 a month, mm -hmm. right? Then maybe we now use the 12,000 as the real income and the real child support number that, that we calculate the child support from an hour, right? But those are super extreme and I rarely ever see them in my practice. In reality, to answer your question, Sadly, cheating doesn't really affect the money part of the divorce, right? But the thing is going to be in front of effect... the judge. You think a judge is going to pay attention if one party was cheating and the other one was not? From my experience, it usually parts. they don't care. Interesting. The judges don't. I mean, sadly, I'm just being honest with you. Sadly, right. the judges don't care. Mm -hmm. And when clients come and they begin to tell this whole story, this song and dance, other than your doctor, your therapist, which you definitely should tell about this. Right. And I'm not saying it's not important or it doesn't, nobody cares. It's not true. Mm -hmm. But in divorce, the judge's job is A, to get you divorced. There's that actual divorce. They have to terminate. The legal part is terminating the marriage. You register the, uh, the marriage with the state. The judge has to end it, terminate it. So they have a job to do. Number one is to terminate the contract of marriage with the state. Number two, your financial situation. And number three, your children. They, they care about your children being taken care of. Visitation, parenting, and child support, right? You as an adult, if you had to put up with cheating, unless you were like extremely abused, unless something terrible happened to you, like you were held in a dungeon while he was cheating in front of you, you know, something terrible, like extreme, right. they don't usually care. They say, you're an adult, go see a therapist, you, you have a right, you know, but let's talk about the money and your divorce and let's move on. The court system is so overburdened, overwhelmed, you know? So I see a lot of ads for private investigators who are going to sketch your spouse cheating. So in reality, for your own satisfaction, for your own uh, knowledge, you may want to hire a PI, but for a divorce case, it doesn't make a difference, right? Um, it could make a difference if they're hiding income, like if they're giving their mistress money that you don't know about, mm -hmm. right? Or like they're ferreting money away and hiding it. That's okay. the only I'm buying her, all, her right. That's her the only care. situation Actually, where it comes up. Trying to hide money with the uh, mistress, with a mistress or with a boyfriend or whatever. 
if it's something really terrible, it might come up. But generally speaking, if it's just like a regular situation where the wife or the husband is cheating on the other spouse, it doesn't mean that when the judge hears this, they're going to give them less than half. It doesn't mean that they're going to give you more child support for your kids than you're entitled to looking at the tax returns and W-2s for your spouse. Yeah. You know, And if you really keep going on and on, they might not listen to you sadly not to say that you don't deserve to be heard you know that's a separate separate story but um divorce court is not where you resolve your psychological problems it's where you end the marriage you resolve the financial issues you resolve the logistics of everything and you have to move on very good marina always very new fresh interesting information uh we appreciate it and uh, as always we're going to post every week new FAQs, frequently asked questions on divorce law with you. Please follow us on jurisq.com. Please like our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, our Instagram page, and uh, you'll be in the know on what is happening in the family and divorce law. Marina Shapersky, thank you for being with us. Have a great day. Thank you. Take care.